Hello, Gemini. Welcome to 2016. This is Gwendolyn of Readings by Gwendolyn. And I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone. And that I hope this is a year full of promise and joy. And that your wishes are fulfilled this year. So, again, just Happy New Year to everyone. This is the January 2016 Terrascope for Gemini. So let's see what's coming up for Gemini this month. Oh, wow, you got an opening of Ten of Cups. Um, it, it, that's a great card of peace and joy and family. The fact that it's in the reverse position tells me that there's a little way in which it may be just under the surface for you at the beginning of the month, Gemini. There's a way in which um, if you're having any struggles with your family, or if there's some way in which um, you're not feeling peace or joy, it's right there under the surface waiting for you. And sometimes when I see this card, I say to people, make sure that you put out your cup to receive everything that this rainbow wants to pour into it. And, and in this card, it kind of features relationship too. You see that there's two hands holding, um, I sometimes call this like a marriage cup, because it is such a strong symbol of family and peace and joy. In the Rider Waite, this card depicts a happy couple um, that's celebrating the rainbow above them. And there's a, a couple of kids dancing right next to them. So it's a real card of the family. If, for whatever reason, you're not experiencing that, or if it feels like the rainbow is pouring out of your cup, know that just a change of perspective sometimes just looking at things from a completely new new way can actually get all 10 of those cups filled. So there's an opportunity at the beginning of the month, Gemini, for you to um, be full of peace and joy, especially in relationship to your family, but it may just be right under the surface, or you may just need to change your perspective in order to receive that. Um, you may be preoccupied with money woes at the beginning of the month, and that might be why you're not able to just focus on the joy and peace that your family is begin, um, presenting to you. Because six of coins, this is all about resources. Um, <clears throat> and it can also mean knowledge or information or power. Um, so six of coins is a card about the haves and the have-nots. Those who have the resources, handing them out to those who don't have them. So in this card, I always ask, who do you identify with? The person who's receiving um, the things, or the person who is begging for them and, and receiving some, or the person who's not getting any at all. Um, all of that is six of coins, inf uh, information, power, resources, knowledge. Who has, who has control or who doesn't? That's six, six of coins energy. So if you're having any, um, you know, concerns about resources or what you're able to draw to you, especially in the physical or the monetary or asset realm. Um, see if you can focus on identifying with the, the man here who's handing out the coins. See if you can um, show appreciation or generosity. Because remember, in this card, it's scales. It's balance. And this is the balance between giving and receiving. So if you feel like you're receiving a lot, learn how to give a little bit. Or if you feel like you're um, giving a lot, learn how to receive. Make sure that you give and receive in balance. And put yourself in a position to receive or put yourself in a position to give. That's six of coins energy. That may be what you're focused on um, towards the beginning of the month. It could also just be like, what resources do I have coming to me? Um, <clears throat> also at the beginning of the month, you have... Uh, Temperance and Hierophant in reverse. This is telling me that um, you're spirit you may be a little spiritually disconnected at the beginning of the month, Gemini. Both of these are very spiritual cards. Hierophant often represents the Pope, and he is the head of, of social um, organized religion. And then Temperance is, you know, balance and order. This is an angel of peace. So with these two in re <clears throat> excuse me, in reverse. I'm wondering, is there a way that um, you're not connecting to your own spirituality? This card, Tem Hierophant, is about tradition and conventionality. And then Temperance is really just about serenity and balance. 
Um, is there something that is throwing you off because it's a little bit unconventional? Like, is there a way in which you're doing things in an unconventional, untraditional way that is throwing off your balance or making you feel not at peace? It, it may even feel, make you feel like you're disconnected from your spiritual world because both of these are such spiritual cards. The fact that they're in reverse is telling me that... Um, there may be something against tradition or against conventionality that is throwing you off your game or off your balance um, and, and making you feel a little restless or, or, un, or wobbly, not at peace. Um, that's happening at the beginning of the month. But then things will change here. Um, maybe not as quickly as you would like, but this card is Wheel of Fortune, also known as Chance, and it means that that the times are changing, that the tides are turning, seasons are changing, um, whatever was on the top is going to be at the bottom, whatever's on the bottom is going to be at the top. This is like the wheel of fate turning. And when it's in the reverse position, it means that things are still turning, but it may not happen as quickly as you might like. So if you are wanting things to change, it looks like around the middle of the month is when it's going to begin to change, but it may not change as quickly as you like. And there is someone who is a water sign Gemini who can help you through this. Whether they're a counselor, or whether they're a mother figure, or a sister, cousin, family relative, or even just a friend. Queen of Cups is someone who is an emotional sign. Um, she's usually a water sign, which is Pisces, or Cancer, or Scorpio. And so this person's going to be able to help you with their tenderness and their compassion, um, especially if you're having a hard time with, with waiting for things to change or wanting that wheel of life to change and you're having a hard time with it. Call upon this queen of, um, of, of cups. It's likely a water sign. She's also at your, at your disposal. She's also going to help you with this resources issue. This is you, Gemini. This is Queen of Swords, and Swords represents an air sign. Um, so this could this is likely you, but it could also be a Libra or an Aquarius, someone who's in authority position. But seeing these three cards line up, here's the concern of with resources and finances. Here's that soft, tender-hearted water sign, and this is most likely you. So align with this other queen. She's going to be able, she's going to be the bridge that connects you to your resources um, or connects you to learning how to find your source of income and money that you may have been um, not connecting well with at the beginning of the month because it's you've got angel temperance in reverse here and the ten of cups in reverse. So there's peace and serenity available to you but with this showing up here you may need you may need this person to help link you to your six of coins again this could be you most likely it's you um, but it could also be another air sign Aquarius or Libra um, but this this person's gonna be very helpful to you this month Gemini so if you have a water sign friend um, really call upon their aid both with the, the changing of time, feeling impatient about anything, or feeling like things aren't changing as quickly as you might like, and as well as helping to connect you to resources or anything having to do with change. The reason I'm saying that is this is resources, this is change. She can bridge you to those, those things. <clears throat> In the middle of the month, also, be careful that you're not overlooking something that wants to come to you. Um, this card is Four of Cups, and it's a card of being preoccupied with what is currently in existence and not seeing what the rest of life wants to bring to you, because um, cups represent heart energy, and so the universe is trying to hand you something that's going to fill your heart, but you may not recognize it or you may not see it. The low side of this card, and because it's in the reverse position, this tells me that there is some sort of um, block here, is that you may just be preoccupied with, with what exists and therefore missing out on other things that could fill your heart. You may just be so exist so preoccupied with this is the way it is, this is how it's always been, what can I do with what's now. I want you to break out of your shell and look up and see 
Um, what else can help you? What else can serve you? The love that is available to you. And it could also be related to this Queen of Cups. You may not recognize that this person is here to help you. This is Cups being handed to you, which is love and compassion and tenderness. Right next to this Queen of Cups, she might be um, someone that you don't recognize as a counselor or as a, a confidant or as a friend, but you may just want to see if you can receive that cup heart energy. Um, try to break out of your own current existence and shell to, to work with this person. This card is um, Three of Wands, and this is also in the middle of the month. Three of Wands is the visionary card, so it's a card about dreaming. It's a card about um, thinking about what's possible and what you want to build. That three energy is creativity, so it's about what is it that I want to create. Um, in, in the reverse position, it can mean that you are not connecting with what it is that you really hope and wish for and desire. What is it? You're not allowing yourself to dream. So I'm going to say in the middle of the month, be especially aware of of allowing yourself to dream of possibilities that are beyond what's currently existing. I say that because the Four of Cups gets overly preoccupied in what currently exists and misses out on extra love and support coming to them. And the Three of Wands in the reverse position says your visionary part of yourself is not is not engaged. So do allow yourself to dream um, and envision what it is that you want. It could be that part of what's happening here is that because you're feeling unstable or ungrounded in the beginning part of the month, it's throwing off your ability to dream and also your connection to your own personal power. That's magician card. Magician is ultimately creative, ultimately powerful. He's able to focus and create and realize and manifest um, his wishes, that's what magic is, that's what the definition of a magician is, is someone who says, abracadabra, I wish it to be so, there it is. Um, and because um, that angel is in reverse, your disconnection with your spirituality potentially is blocking your creativity. This is a three number, which is, you know, creativity, um, envisioning things, dreaming what you want, and then um, Magician is all about taking those dreams and putting them into action, into power, into creation, into physical manifestation. So try, at the beginning of the month, try to see if you can connect with your spirituality. It might have some nice effects on the rest of the month for you, especially in terms of dreaming and connecting to your manifesting abilities. Um, if you can correct this card, um, your calmness, your serenity, your connection to the divine, these two might turn around as well. So then at the end of the month, Gemini, um, there's something that you feel ready to walk away from. This is Eight of Cups, and it means feeling weary, feeling tired, being ready to walk away from something you've put a lot of TLC into, you've invested a lot of time a lot of energy into setting those cups in order. And when um, when Eight of Cups comes up, it says, you know, it's, it's time to move on. It's time, I feel tired of what this is doing. This could be a job, this could be a lifestyle, this could be a house, a home, a project, a relationship. Anything that you put a lot of your heart into, um, Eight of Cups says it might be time to move on. And there may be someone you know, if this doesn't represent you as Queen of Swords, which likely it does, but it could be another authority figure who's another air sign. So this could be another Gemini or an Aquarius or um, a, a Libra person. It may mean that you're ready to move on from them, you know, or, or what they represent. So could be boss, landlord, mother, um, anyone who's in a position of authority. And so this Eight of Cups saying you feel a little bit weary. You may need to talk to this person or, you know, she's supportive of you actually in this role if it doesn't represent you yourself. This could be that these two, this is saying that it's you ready to move on. Or it could be that you're ready to move on from this person and what the situation that they represent. It actually shows that you might be spending more time at home 
and, and enjoying what's there, Four of Wands is, um, you know, the home is your castle and feeling stable and having a good foundation. You may actually just spend a lot of time like doing interior decorating or, or just kind of feathering your nest, whatever it is that connects you to home energy. That's actually, this is a four, which represents foundation. So is this. And this means like doing something differently against convention. So you might do do something regarding your foundation or your home in a, in a kind of a different way. Um, and I'm hoping for you that, you know, you are able to connect to your personal power, your magic. Um, there's a, a issue at the end of the month where you feel disconnected from your own power. Um, so maybe focus on the magician card and see if you can get rid of whatever doubts or fears are blocking this because it's it's there for you. That energy is showing up. It's just that you're not able to access it. And usually that has something to do with disconnection or you're doubting your abilities in your own self or having a little bit of fear of um, actually creating what it is that you want. So that's my reading for you, Gemini, for January 2016. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you have a fabulous start to the new year. Thanks for watching. Yours in the stars. If you enjoyed the reading, feel free to check out my readings for the other signs, and also feel free to share on any platform, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching Yours in the Stars.